Guys, all I'm saying is that Beans from Even Stevens and Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle would make a good ship. I don't know why you guys are getting so fucking upset. Oh, oh shit, we're on. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here with the entire fucking crew today. We have Cola, Guac, Pig, and Freddy. Which is weird. I'm back. Yeah. I'm back in black. <laughs> you can play that. Go for I'm it. I'm hitting the sack. <laughs> Jack. Yeah. Someone do a loud Axel Rose voice. <laughs> What's the fucking singer? I forgot his name. That's not Axel Rose's not... Guns N' Roses. Yeah. The fuck is his name? Is Steven Tyler or some shit? No, that's Aerosmith. <laughs> who the fuck is? I don't know who the, the guy from bon ACDC Scott. is. The original was Bon Scott, and he died. Who's the one that's in the in the outfit then? Like the the schoolgirl outfit or whatever. That's Angus yeah. Young. Angus Young. The guitarist. Yeah. I thought his name was a. Oh, uh, I gotta put it up for you guys, I forgot. Give me a second. Could've sworn his name was Joe. Do you think everyone's name is fucking Joe? <laughs> it's either Joe or John. No problem. There you go. Is that a problem? Yeah, not everyone's name is fucking Joe or John. And Bon Jovi, yeah, that's the lead singer from ECDC. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the lead singer from ACDC is uh, Prince. Forgot. Sorry. My bad. No, the lead singer is Hall and Oates. That's his full name. Yeah. Hall and Oates. What the fuck did you just post in my fucking chat? Look at it. If it's the fucking. <laughs> it's the scary baby guy. No, it's not. Look. Purple. I'm not gonna look. I'm in the middle of a fucking stream. <laughs> Click on the like. Jesus. I'll do it during the cutscene. How about that? Okay. Cooper, we meet again. Yeah, there's a cutscene. Thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. It's just the color purple. What the fuck? She took it hard, huh? What oh, yeah, if it's purple? <laughs> is that why it says file purple zero one dot png? Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Hollywood and yeah, that is a funny color. Purple. Imagine liking purple. It's like a fucking Thanos dick color. Legally, is he fucking flirting with the pink bitch? I thought he already kissed the other one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. Oh, it's another one of those fucking chase me down missions. Can't settle for just one bitch. I hear that, sister. Fall behind while I lead you. Let me chase you. That's not even the, how the meme went. It was just Thanos car, Thanos car. Shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> He's autocorrected. I think it's funnier. Stop, Stop, you stupid, you stupid bitch. <laughs> fuck off. It was supposed to say, shut the fuck up. How? Oh, like STFU. Yeah. Oh, and uh, as an FYI, for when if we do get to Super Mario Sunshine, I think we probably will. Um, I did one of the levels off stream. I recorded it though. Uh, I'm probably gonna upload it to my archive channel if I ever do get to that. Uh, just for the sake of everyone on the fucking stream. Also, I love how she just walked into that elephant's ass for like a good ten seconds there. Wow. She said, "Hold up, I gotta eat ass real quick." I was that elephant. <laughs> Are you like Kanye West? You like things in your butt? Yo. Yeah, he's the only person. Yeah. 
I don't know why anyone else likes that. Realize they have a prostate in there. Why my mouse hurt? He goes, what's this bump on my owl? Okay. Stop <laughs> eating nails. Did you see it? Did you guys ever see? I think it was like on Tumblr or something. There was a guy that went to get his prostate checked and he fucking nutted and then passed out. <laughs> <laughs> in the doctor's arms. <laughs> he like buckled his fucking knees and just fell. Never showed you this yeah. door. Oh. yeah, you can say retarded now. I hope you're happy. That was you. <laughs> it was me, yeah. I just said it was yeah, some guy on the internet because it was funny. Unless you have the worst type of Oh. <laughs> I just came back from the doctor. Guess who can say the R word? Just like Nina said. <laughs> Doctor said I had autism. I'm gonna say swears me. Oh my God, Bentley, <laughs> shut up. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. Just came back from the doctor's room, so I'm black. <laughs> Never knew. That's what I can say. How do you find that out at the doctor? <laughs> It says uh, uh you. it sees you uh, you checked your race as African American. What? Maybe they're colorblind. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh no I one. diagnose you with black. <laughs> what? He, he has the black plate. I was drowning in a puddle of tar. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say tar baby like that. That's not. A, you can't just do that. I didn't say tar. Official... You did. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. Because as you can't, <laughs> I can. It's just part of a story. It is part of a story. I like how Splash Mountain is based off of like a fucking racist ass cartoon and nobody gave a shit until like last year. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, um, actually, um, wait a second. It, it feels like they're looking cops out of my ass. Is that what you say to that doctor? Wrong. Oh, wait a minute. They're doing what to your yeah. ass? <laughs> Inspecting it. Oh. Is that why Inspector Gadget wears gloves? Please, stop touching my little booty, T. Did you never have a prostate inspection day at school? <laughs> no, we had penis inspection <laughs> day. I don't have a prostate. We didn't have that. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, we did. The we did. gym teacher never took you to the back and said, don't tell your parents. Because then they'll, they'll try no. to like change the results. No. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't tell my parents because it's. I just get my dad to do it. <laughs> doing behind my back. <laughs> what was I doing behind your back? I was getting my penis inspected. Yeah. What was I doing behind your back? Uh, totally not shoving my big fat cock inside of your asshole. No, 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 that wasn't me. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> Ouch, that tickles. Hey, what Damn, are you doing? Damn, baby, back there? you got a double <laughs> wide surprise. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever seen that meat cannon video with fucking Bugs Bunny, but it was the funniest fucking thing. Who the fuck is like squashing crickets? Thank you. <laughs> That's so specific. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Did somebody just kill a rat? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just got a big bag crickets. of animals killing. <laughs> yeah. You guys are just killing animals live on stream. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could do that if it's not on camera, I don't know. Yeah, I got a couple of ducklings here, too. As long as you're not <laughs> fucking killing them and That's eating them while they're trying to run away, I guess it's fine. Oh, god damn it, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's the one from New York, why the fuck do you have rats in your house? Uh... <laughs> rats don't Listen. exist outside of New York, I think you're lying. Uh. Yeah. The other day, I only have beavers I, in my house. The other day, I found yeah. a mouse trap outside of my house, but I couldn't tell what it was because it wasn't like the stereotypical mouse trap. So I like picked it up and it fucking slammed. On my hand. Nice. Picked it up and what? It like slammed on my hand. Oh. Fucking hurt. This is funny contraption. It actually breaks hand and like, you it break just your fucking like bones. A weird, tiny black cane. Yeah. I've seen those. Do you think if they uh, redid Muppets in Manhattan and made it more modern, that uh, they would make Rizzo say deadass and wear some fucking Tims? 
don't Why know. Why would he do that? Because he's from New York. Oh. Um, whoever was killing those animals, can you do some frogs for me? That's my favorite to kill. <laughs> You're killing, like, a, a fucking sick baby now? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> I don't- I don't know if I've talked about that on stream. I don't know if I won't get that. Probably not. Do you want to go ahead and be open about it now? <laughs> Two. Yeah. Summarize it in one sentence. Yeah. When I was a little child, I used to kill frogs because I liked how their guts squished out. Amazing. I mean, it's not any worse than those people on fucking YouTube that, like, kill squids and fucking eat them while they're trying to run away. That's, That's cool. Just normal fucking Asian restaurants. I I went to a fucking Korean barbecue where you have to like cook your food like in front of you. Like they don't cook it in front of you, you have to fucking do it yourself. Yeah. And they just like gave us a fucking plate of baby octopuses. Oh yeah, I've had those, but those are already dead. They're not no, trying to fucking crawl around. They were moving! Yeah, they move on the grill or whatever, but they're dead. No! The on the fucking plate! They were like squirming and wiggling. That's probably just the nerves. I think they're already dead. No! They were alive! Yeah, on this kid. <laughs> you never seen like when they like give electroshocks to like the fucking, uh, like the frogs that they move? No, if you put like soy sauce on it or something, like the salt activates the electrolyte. They were just sitting on them. the fucking plate! <clears throat> was it thing that, that? that also was a thing, though. Apparently. What, sitting on a plate makes your fucking meat wiggle? Yeah, when I put my dick on a plate, it wiggles. <laughs> There's that video on YouTube of like a decapitated uh, crocodile head in the kitchen and it just kind of like snaps down its jaw. Did you guys ever see that video of the fucking guy at the zoo? Reason. That he goes like the zookeeper or whatever and there was like a group of crocodiles and one of them eats the other fucking guy's arm? Like the, the crocodile's arm? Yeah, I've seen that. That was fucking funny. It's funny because it's because uh, he fucking twists while trying to eat his arm, it's like to make sure that it comes wrong. off. He's like, you just ate your fucking brother's arm off. It's pretty funny. Yo. I love that. That's actually kind of freaking cute. It's kind of cute that the fucking alligator ate the other alligator's arm off. Where they say, no, don't eat me. That's my favorite part of going to a Korean barbecue place. That's not real. Can you imagine if they advertise- Well, they cut- They do advertise food like that. Like the fucking Chips Ahoy, and like Pop-Tarts, and fucking, uh... What those things called, like, Crisp, or... Uh, they have Crisp, but eat each other, I think. And they have fucking Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, they just- what is it with, like, food <laughs> that either doesn't want to be eaten, or is just cannibalized? Like, what the fuck is up with that? Why is that a thing? They love it. Like, does everyone who works in food just have a war fetish or something? Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. mm. How the fuck are you supposed to get up there? I guess you're supposed to, like, uh... Oh my god! There's like a route that goes up there, but how the fuck do you get to it? I hate this fucking map, it's just so disorienting. Cause like, everything is like connected through fucking vines. Just disconnect them. Not even that difficult. <laughs> this might what be like you? the worst fucking design map in history. What are you saying? Were they saying no, don't eat me? Is that what you're responding to? Because I didn't see that. Yeah. I fucking pulled back onto Discord. I have to see that guy's fucking face again. <laughs> I love that fucking face that that guy makes. Especially because he was like, duet a baby with me, and then the fucking baby just starts crying. <laughs> it's funny, but it's also like so scary. It like, is scary, human... but it's funny. A human being shouldn't look like that. I mean, fucking look at the guy who made Facebook. What's his name? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he looks like a fucking like android or something. He looks like a fucking android from like Alien. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. 
Mark Zuckerberg. They should legit, if they make, well, they are making another alien movie. They should have him play one of the cyborgs or androids or whatever. You ever just, like, fucking sit there and you're like, what the fuck, why do I just feel, like, uncomfortable? Yeah, it's every day of my life. Like, I can't sit and feel normal. I'm probably making so much fucking noise. Yeah, but like, like, well, I mean, Pig is too, like, every five minutes. Mm. He's the loudest fucking chair on the planet. Complain, complain, complain. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there. Like, I guess I climb that tree? Is everything just connected to that fucking tree? Because I've had to do that like eight times already. You mean the big tree on the very left side of the level? Yeah, there's like a, a fucking tree Almost that just connects always, to everything. Yeah. yeah, you always have to go there. I don't know who designed this map to all be connected through one fucking tree, like... A fucking idiot, that's who. Yeah, apparently. Pretty sure there are ladders or some... There's like pipes or something around the level, but they're very obscure to... They're very hard to find. Are you shitting me? Oh no. Playing Risk of Rain and I have uh what is this artifact? Artifact of fucking evolution. They got Dio's best friend. Who's Dio's best friend? Uh it's an item that makes them respond, so that means every enemy will respond once after they die. I'm Great. Of, like Ju like JoJo Dio or something? No. It's because one of the devs' dog, it was like a dog or something, they named them Dio. And the item is like a little teddy bear. Oh. <clears throat> I was thinking it was like his fucking stand or something. Yeah, it's his best friend. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, there he is. Got them DSL Mark Zuckerberg, I call him. I mean, I think he has like the smallest fucking lips on a human being. Okay, I think you're supposed to like get Welcome on that mushroom cool. and it bounces you up the tree. Like yeah, oh. we were talking about you, we were like... Wouldn't it be funny if like, you know, the Berlin Wall fell or something? That is not the conversation that happened. <laughs> well, that, be like maybe Irm, you were in a different uh, conversation. Irm, wouldn't it be Irm? Wouldn't it be uh, um, uh, really funny if the, uh, uh, the Berlin Wall fell? Uh, I had to go through two days of school. I'm fucking exhausted. How is everyone? Uh, I'm pretty fucking tired all the time, bro. I had to go get fitted for a suit. Was, yeah. For your sister's wedding? Yeah. Are you gonna it's edit her wedding sister. video? Hmm? You gonna edit her yeah. wedding video? Yeah. I'm gonna add some fucking fart with reverb over it. Every time somebody I just walks in. You didn't get the fucking reference. You didn't get the reference. <laughs> What's the reference? Matt. Um, Matt Watson yeah. infamously um was supposed to edit his sister's wedding video, but he lost the file and has failed to return it to her to this day. <laughs> It's pretty good. How do you lose a file like that? Doesn't it be like fucking 8 gigs or something? It was on a flash drive. Oh. And he said he like fucking lent the flash drive to someone. How do you just forget that you have someone's fucking wedding on a flash drive? Especially your sister. Yeah. Let's cancel Matt Watson. He's a bad mm -hmm. brother. I mean, that's kind of fucked up if you think about it, yeah. You know how much money they probably spent on that wedding and they don't have any evidence that it actually happened? They have the memories in their head. And yeah. they also have pictures. I guess. Not... Most people... Just... Most wasn't that people like don't a... have... Wasn't that like a point that he used to justify it? Like, hey, no. Now you can treasure the memories even harder. Or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I remember he said something like that. That's, That's like, like if you don't it. film a movie and you just took pictures. It's like, oh yeah, it was a really fun experience. I love that, that, like, out of all the times she could have called about that, it had to be while they were recording so everyone knows about the fucking, his lack of responsibility. That's not the first time she's called him on, like, a video, though. Yeah, but it's the first time he, that she called about her fucking wedding video. 
No, I think Ryan mentioned it to her. <laughs> Asshole. Ryan's evil. <laughs> hey, wait, are you still mad that uh, your brother lost the wedding video? Ryan! Just get married again. Come on. It's okay, you have it now, right? Yeah, it's like you already rehearsed it, just do it all over again. Fucking... Like, most people don't have video of their wedding, so, like, she's- Yeah, there are people born in the fucking Wild West. The Wild West? What? Yeah. Like, in the 1800s? They have to do a fucking shoot-off with the 10-second potion. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna do the Bentley mission. I don't even know how the fuck I'm supposed to get no, to that slime don't mission. Do the fucking I don't Bentley. know how the fuck I'm supposed to get there, and I've been playing don't for like 20 minutes already. Mission. I'm not. I'm, I, I just don't know how to fucking get there. You're gonna have to do this at one point or another. I know, and I'll probably figure it out. Fuck. Oh. Like, if they're more than like five feet off the ground, they just die. Like, the game just can't render that. It's actually, like, really funny when people die. Yeah, I laugh every time. I don't know if we've mentioned that video of the guy getting his fucking brains blown out. Probably not. <laughs> Have we talked about that on no. stream? I'm finally getting married. <laughs> the great year that you're the... That you're on your feet after your fifth divorce. Shame you won't invite me to your wedding, though. I swear I won't dunk the bride in Gatorade like a football game this time. Dude, I swear. I don't know if the Twitch masses are gonna accept the fact that we think it's funny, that fucking video. Probably not. Oh well. What's wrong with you? That was a real person. It was a real person, yeah, but it was still really can't... fucking funny. What am I gonna do? Make him stop being I... dead? What, is he gonna just send a really uh, angry email about it? Like, I can't fucking do anything now. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm doing a Bentley mission. He's already dead. After so your wife, after I called your wife, I called your wife Big Chungus. Chungus. What is it even, Big Chungus? Like, why don't you go don't marry Big Chungus? Said it was ironic. This man probably talks about Big Chungus more than fucking Warner Brothers does. Fucking, it's it's the same way I ironically talk about Fanboy Chum Chum. I, I really do fucking despise that show, but I think it's funny to talk about. It is funny to talk about, but like, there's at least diversity to fanboy and chum chum. This is big chunk is just one fucking still image. <laughs> what a stupid fucking rabbit. You will marry big chunk is well. I'll invite you to my next wedding. Uh, you know if my wife doesn't mysteriously disappear in an accident again or something. Again. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the other six, they just like, you know, they went into the woods or something and they just disappeared, I don't know. Whoa, wait a minute. You got married six times? How? Uh... Have yeah, I don't know either. I think I, I just got them shipped in. I-I ordered some rail- <laughs> rail. Some male Russian brides. Flooding them out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. I ordered them through Amazon Correct. Russia. They got here in two days. The bug in office, I overheard that a new you know what? Pilot I just got bored. Had just bored. I'm gonna fucking get a water bottle. This truck. You gonna do Stay what to a water bottle? That dam is sure to be well it. protected. What the fuck? Okay. We're doing this now. Are you in a boss battle? I don't know what the fuck is happening. Also, I can't shoot. What's happening? Oh, well, that's a weird button. It's like the bumper. Well, yeah, that's how it would be if you were, like, you know, a helicopter. Yeah, you shoot the bumper buttons. No, like, it's like the... It's like a, a kind of like fort thing. You got the park. What the fuck? This guy's like just directly hitting me. Are you playing with Bentley right now? Yeah. What did I fucking tell you about doing that <laughs> Well, I could've- if you could figure out how to- how the fuck I'm supposed to do the slime mission. 
then I'll do it. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck to get there because this map is like. I don't know. Why did the tomato turn red? Um, because he was kind of nervous. Because he was on a first date and he didn't know what to do. Because he, he, um, forgot to edit his sister's wedding video. I'm in trouble. Did he just say kind of trouble? He said I'm in trouble. John knows how to swim. Piece of the dam struck the chopper. It's going down. Oof. Ow. Ah. Oof. Oh. Okay. Did you just get drunk? What the hell happened? Okay, now we have to do the slime mission. I don't know. How in the actual fuck am I supposed to get up there? But uh, I guess I have to figure it out. Cause it's like, this map is built on fucking like mushrooms and vines and I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get around it. It's like you can't even tell where the hell anything is. And the mushrooms just kind of like blend into the fucking background, so you can't even tell that they're like actual objects you're supposed to interact with. Okay. So there's vines that lead to that, but that's not even how you get up there. It's like just no direct way to get up there. I mean, I'll try it, but I don't think that's even how you're supposed to do it. Your baby bottle pop? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm looking for my paint bottles. Why did you just type in what? Pog chimp? Why not? I wish there was a chimp emoji that was the sim pogging. I would prefer that over the actual like pog chimp thing. If I get an emote, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do fucking. <gasps> I found Pog that. Chip. Cool. If you're not gonna ask a question that actually makes me, like, either really laugh or, like, really think, I'm not gonna even bother reading it. But I might read it. Go ahead if you want, but I'm not gonna respond. You asked me that, like, two days ago, or not two days ago, maybe, like, a week or two ago. And I was just like, D I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to say to that. He said, would you want to do a podcast? Would Would you want to do a podcast? Yeah, no, that's not what I was talking about. I would want to do a podcast. I just, that'd be cool. Not like, what would you do if we met Big Chungus? Like, what? That's not a question. What would you do if gay people were real? What would I do? Yeah. I, would, I would cry and shit and come. I don't know about in that order, but, uh, yeah. Uh, a podcast could be cool, but I, I feel like with a podcast, you actually have to have, like, topics to talk about. And you can't just, like, go off on camera, like, all improvised. Which I guess is slightly better. But I feel like, who the hell's gonna sit around and listen to just random-ass people, you know? Like, unless it's, like, something you're obviously interested in, like, if they're talking about movies or something. Like, they're just not gonna listen to us talk about fucking... <laughs> just random shit. I don't even know what we talked about this stream yet. I don't remember. I want to start a podcast about ARGs. But what? ARGs. What the hell are ARGs? It sounds like a gun. Alternate reality game. Oh. Why don't we just talk about alternate realities in general? It's not scary anymore. It's not scary anymore? Enough. Oh. Am I supposed to get up there and then like... No. What the fuck? 
Who just signed this fucking level? They should be fired. They're working at Sucker Punch still to this day, I swear to god. So mad. <laughs> this is like the lead uh, designer for Ghost of Tsushima that made this fucking level. How do we have an entire full stream and it's just you and me talking? <laughs> like, how is that happening? We have like literally everyone here except for Cool Wall and Chili. <laughs> is, Guac, is Guac still here? I haven't heard him. In I a think while. Guac went to go get lunch. What? What? When are we gonna play Metal Gear Solid on stream? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Metal Gear Solid 5. Why? I just realized I'm fucking painting a water bottle. Why did I want to do this? Okay, where does that connect to? It connects to that tree. How do I get into that tree? This mushroom, I guess? Okay, do I climb up here, and then... No, I can't even climb that fucking vine, that's great. So, like, okay... I... I have to figure out how the fuck to get up there. Uh, Freddy, cool, I'll ask you a question. Uh, would you ever consider playing the Ace Attorney series? Lighthearted! Boo! I thought there was like a mushroom that you could jump on to get up here. Where the this fuck? Really that Why would you make something lighthearted when you can make it terrifying and gory? I probably would have liked Ace Attorney if I got into it when I was younger, but nowadays I'm too fucking picky. Yeah, I, I mean, it looks like it's all right. I might play it. Think about it. My attention span's too low, so unless it's something that's like along the lines of stuff I like, I like can't fucking do it. I mean, Ellen Noir is like solving mysteries of murder and shit like that. So, I I really like your turn to die though. It's it's a lot more grimy compared to Dang and Romper, and it's actually like it has a good story. What the fuck is that clicking sound? It's me painting the water bottle. Why the fuck are you painting a water bottle? It's not Easter. I don't know. It was an impulse decision. That doesn't mean you have to finish doing it. I'm gonna finish doing it. Oh I God. started using my fucking paint that I spent money on. I know, but it's like clicking like really fucking loud in my ear. I'll mute myself. <laughs> clicking you. This is like the the like closest to solo I've ever done. <laughs> and this like we're completely full in the chat. Isn't there a path inside of the palace that takes you out? Or I don't one think that's so. Under the waterfall? There's like okay, so there's an, a way to get into this tree up here, but I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there. It's hard to visualize it on Discord because the fucking stream quality is like 480 or something. It's just mostly pixels. I think you just have to take a far left path and then fucking go for it. Yeah, like, it, everything is, like, starting from the far left in this fucking Did map. You... What mission were you supposed to be doing? You have to, like, get into, like, the middle of the map. Weren't you supposed to follow Anita or whatever his name? No, Anita? that was, like, 10 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. Uh -huh. Okay, so, like, I know there was a way to get up here because I've done it, and I swear it was, like, a mushroom you need to jump on. You get up here, and then that way you can connect to these trees. Because there has to be a way to get up there. Unless it's like you're connected to something else. Mm. 
Isn't there a mission where you knock down that, you know, swaying thing? I, I don't know. I vaguely remember that. I remember a lot of things if I actually played this again. I only played it once. Okay, so I guess I can get up there. Mm -hmm. This is a really, really poorly designed map. I hope it's not just me that's just being an idiot. I don't remember having much trouble with it, but... I remember as a kid I had trouble with this one. Like this map specifically. It took me forever to get around. It's, it's, it's so fucking stupid to get around. It's like literally every other map is like, you know, somewhat alright. But it's just this Take one. The, other, the very left tightrope maybe? Yeah, it was probably the very left one or something. That one? That one left, yeah. And there's another path to the left. Was it that mushroom? I probably. This looks about right. Mm -hmm. This looks, this is so fucking stupid. You know what it is that you can only get to like other parts of the map if you only find one part? Like there's no other ways to get up there. It's just you have to find this one fucking part. Like that's that's so fucking poorly designed. Oh yeah, I remember this. You gotta take the gem or something? That's I think good. so, yeah. You gotta make a break for it, if I remember correctly. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange yes, for the goods, please. they'll set us up oh, with a cherry bomb 500 for the heist. A cherry bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I feel like there's gonna be, like, there has to be more to the, this yes. fucking mission. Yes, there is. You think there's no consequence for just doing that? Yeah. Who's gonna notice? Murray, you're on. Sly's not the ruby oh, I, you have to, like, carry it all the way back and then you just have to beat them all up on the way? On Told the you. Way. That's not that bad, I think. It probably is going to be way worse, uh, actually doing it. What's going to be worse is trying to figure out how the fuck to get there. It's easy, you just go straight. You probably, yeah, you can probably legit just go straight through the fucking level. Cause you can't fuck it up that bad, where like, even Murray can't get around. I think you were just getting lost, though. Well, it's because, like, the only way to get to that middle part of the map is if you find, like, a specific tree root. And I couldn't find it. It's only, like, one... It's only one vine or whatever you can use to get up there. Oh my god, fuck this. Come on. Turn to monk. Kill him. I'm back from fucking Did you mean to write twink? You said sly is a think. Oh shit. I just got white paint all over my laptop, but Your laptop? My laptop. Yeah. You can't just say laptop. you can't just do Asian stereotypes like that, Freddy. That's I not said cool. laptop. Bentley has fat nerd cock. I hate Bentley. Why is a twink Murray's bear was He didn't say twink, he said think. Yeah. He thinks. He does I think. Do. He has to think for everybody else because no one else can. Did I miss where I was supposed to be going? I don't know, it's over there. Bentley is a smarrio? What the fuck is that? It's a a smart smarto? It's so fucking yeah. tiny I can't read that. Especially if it's I not a real word. 
Bentley's a stupid motherfucker. Neither is Mario. Well, yeah, but I thought he was like a abbreviating like Super Mario for whatever reason. Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Oh, now, this is probably me, like really, really fucking annoying. I don't remember it being. I never got stuck in anything when I have light it. So. Well, the fact that you have to like put everything onto like a trampoline or something seems like it's gonna be pretty fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I beat everyone up on the map pretty much. It's like, I think in the path that we're going to. Can I just throw it from here? Okay. So. Yeah, I know you meant twink. <laughs> Be real He's thank. In front of you. Huh? He's just moving in front of you. Why is he making fun of me? I meant you were making fun of him. Oh. For spelling something. Else. What the fuck? Is that it? This ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Ew. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. What? This is terrible. What? What was the point of that cutscene? I don't know. <laughs> They're just like, home. Yes, this is the person you're going to be buying from. Or you're selling it to, mm, or whatever. This is the black market. This is one person. Hmm. They are the black market. Look what you did. Bentley, Look how what the you fuck am I supposed to get up there? You're not. Don't drop it. I, well, I'm trying not to, but I have to figure out how to get over there to where Bentley was. Um, also, Ruby is not fragile. It's like a 7 on the no scale, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a fucking giant rock. Some are <laughs> fragile. Like fucking Talik. I guess you could just throw it from here. Yes, yeah, smartass. But yeah, there you go. Now you're in combat mode. Oh, no. Good. I just have to figure out how the hell- I think you're supposed to like, sneak yes. along this thing. Mushroom. Ugh. Well, no. should probably try to clean the paint off my fucking mm. Is this just an infinite spawning monkey door? Yes, that is. Why- why is that a thing? Mm. Go. Where, where? Oh, he's over there. Use your stomp move, Murray. Murray, use your stomp move. How the hell? I, I, I don't know how they expect you to get up to half of these fucking places. You're just, you're just whining. It's a little jump. It's literally just that. That was so difficult. That was harder than my college classes. Are they just gonna keep looking at it? What? That guy has like a fucking filter on his voice. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Okay, why couldn't the other person who picked it up just take it? That that job wasn't even that hard, it was just annoying. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. 
Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a sledding pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. Welcome to the rest of the stream, because it's probably going to take me that long to finish. Because that just sounds super annoying <laughs> to do all of that. <laughs> Bentley is Milhouse's persona. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think we talked about that the other day, didn't we? And you said, what did he say? You didn't say Millhouse, he said something else. What? That he, he typed something else instead of Millhouse. I think he spelled Millhouse wrong or something. It was Melhouse. <laughs> yeah, it was Melhouse. And then he put Milfhouse. I said that. Oh. Uh, Why do I bother making jokes? Because they're funny. Everyone just mis miscredits them. Well, you're too funny. Yeah, you're too funny. We can't just give the credit all to you all the time. We have I to right. acknowledge some people are funny sometimes. Try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. Yes, Freddy, go into detail on why you hate Bentley. Oh, uh, he's stupid and ugly and gay and annoying and bad. <laughs> he's gay and homophobic. <laughs> yeah. Clear out those guards before you take a crack at opening the mouth. Really cute. Yeah. Nice work. Now put those muscles to the test and pry. Alert! Temple Fasan under assault. Put down this attack. Get Zeus! How the hell would he even know that we're here? Bunch of hunter -seeker also, how the hell- <laughs> How are you supposed to do this if half the stuff renders when you zoom out? I destroy all of them. Oh. I'm surprised Chili is in here. His, the mini games are his favorite part because they're so fucking annoying. Those are supposed to be. <clears throat> what? Those things falling from the sky. How many of these fucking things does he have? Probably at least ten. Yeah, I think so. 
you know, give or take. All clear from my position. How are you coming on that lever, Murray? I'm working on it. Hit buttons fast to keep oh, your strength up. You got it. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. The Murray's might and muscle triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the cherry bomb, my friend! None of these characters are likable. I like all of them. Well, that's because you're stupidly engaging. That may be. What's wrong with Sly? Yeah. He's a little he Sly. Like this, he has like a weird, like... Fucking... What's the word? Seductive voice. What's wrong with that? <laughs> he's too sexy, I don't like him. I, I feel like he's like trying to like fucking harass me. <laughs> he, he's me into Carmelita. I don't like his dumb hat. His <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fashion's. Freddy, there's another question for you. Uh. How would you like it if there was a cutscene where Bentley sleeps with Sky's sister? Who the fuck Sly is Sky? Would... Is that Sly's evil twin? Well, I literally <laughs> strangles Bentley to death while Murray eats chips. You see the life leave Bentley's eyes as he struggles to stay alive. Would that satisfy your anger? I mean, sure. Finally, I don't have to hear his dumb voice anymore. If Sly's sister is a bitch, she would do it. Do we ever see Sly's fucking sister? I don't think he has one. He's an he's an only child. Oh yeah. His ancestors, you see them in the fourth game. I don't know if any of them are female. I think the, the only female one uh everyone has Yeah, but I'm saying like the only female one uh, that's ever included is like not even in the game. This place is mine. I think they mentioned her at the end of 3, and then she, like, they show, like, a slight cutscene teasing it that she might be in the next game. But, uh, God knows if that's ever gonna come out. I think it's when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after Sounds is the, the clockwork fucking, part. Um, you want me to take him down? And the bust like is all yours. Babe. Just um, try to keep up. The machine lady from the Bober I'm scared about collecting lightroom. Why is she have an accent? Uh, he's French or something, I don't know. Why are she- why are you what? different? Why did the screen just go black? What the fuck just happened? She, so she sounds like a fucking Skyrim NPC. How they what? just have, like, what? ambiguous- What the fuck uh, just happened? She died. No, reason. no, it didn't. <laughs> this is the afterlife. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, I didn't see what happened until now because I was watching on fucking Twitch. Am I supposed to know when he's gonna do that? Okay. When he's gonna black out? When he's yeah, he's just gonna black out. No, like when he's supposed to do the lightning thing. Uh oh. How does he do that? He's like Lightning McQueen. Yo. Does he only do it in the <laughs> middle? I guess so. Yeah. You could literally just not go in the middle. Oh, okay, well I guess you could just fucking do that. You asshole. He was just doing it in the middle the entire time. And then just the Did one he second. Just say is, gay. is the yes. what? He just said fucking like Rajan or whoever the fuck is gay. No, he said Rajan is the king. It sounded like the king. Yeah, this is his coming out. He said he figured Sly was already dead, so he could just say it. <laughs> Finally, I could just yell, I'm gay! 
Neela, now! Sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm coming, buddy! Is this like fight with just Murray? I guess, this yeah. Is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys. But one <laughs> thing up. I'm not is weak. That's me. Yeah, I'm, stu I'm stupid, but at least I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate how you can just summon minions. He's not even pointing at me. He was just pointing at the camera. Pointing at you. <laughs> You're the He attacks like way too fast. It's really annoying. Almost like he's trying to win. Yeah, but like it's just like so fast you can't even like dodge it. It's just like back to back. Yeah, he's, he just person. fought his own henchman. He's a real fucking person actually trying to defend himself. <laughs> you say that every time I fight a boss. Yeah, because yeah, you're fucking <laughs> plating with. Wait, Jesus. Okay, that boss was still bullshit though. You guys saw it live. Defend your lord. Can't believe you called your friends whores. <laughs> Defend your whores. <laughs> What if your bros are your hoes? Mm. He was just, he was just <laughs> clarifying that they are indeed Damn it. <laughs> bros be four hoes? More like bros are my hoes. It's just like he takes so long to punch, like the second he attacks you can't dodge it because you're in the middle of a combo. Yeah, that's how heavy characters work. No, but this is actually a pretty game. They tried to make it into one. It's like fucking <laughs> Tekken. Wait, why is this pedal actually built as much? Like, I'm actually sitting on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> Buy tickets for the whole steep, but you don't- you only need the edge. <laughs> <laughs> what was that from? I don't remember. Oh, that's from Game Wars. It's like a monster truck commercial. Come on. Okay. 
wow, you asshole. What the? Oh my fucking god. This isn't this isn't like clockwork where you have to do the entire fucking boss battle all over again. Like that was bullshit. That I could have done it in like twelve seconds. All right, get a copy of this game and do that. Cole is trying to say something. Oh, you know there's a cut line of dialogue where Mary says, you know, I may not be smart with my brain, and I'm racist and a registered sex offender, and legally blind, and legally retarded, and pathetic, and homophobic, and gay, and a Hitler supporter, and a communist, and, and then he dies of a heart attack because he's dead. Which part of that was fucking denied? <laughs> and A, and Com, B, and Pug, Gally, Gally, K, Cause... Holy. What the fuck? What would he do? Wait. It's like all the words Wait. that were like taken out that he wasn't allowed to say. Lazy people. <laughs> that? What the hell does that mean? And a calm and a pad galley galley are cause. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what? I still don't follow. That's what that's what the fucking mod just let through. <laughs> it just says and a and a calm d and pa galley galley r e k cause. That's what it says. I think it's broken. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's like words that we were, we had to permit. Can't believe Cool would try to say something like that. <laughs> Defend your lord. <clears throat> These fucking health things barely give you anything. It's like some of the attacks don't even register when you hit him because he's doing an attack himself. Dude, if you don't fucking die, I swear to god. Okay, there we go. Victory belongs I almost died because one of the other guys punched me. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork Jesus. Happy day. What? Ooh. Neela? Throw down a ladder. Sly's hurt real bad. Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt. There they are, Contessa. Just as Oh, I she's promised. a bad guy. Cooper gang well, she's not a bad guy. She's just a cop. Oh. Excellent police. Well, same thing. <laughs> I guess. I guess. never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never 
really, Camarita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double I can't cock believe it. Liar! Oh, he just he just said cock. Oh. Forget everything I've ever said about Bentley. He's my favorite character now. <laughs> well, statistically improbable. I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us. My teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect. And with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shift. I feel that. I also hate this part. Uh, I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. gets really close to the camera and says, you don't fucking see anything. Why would he do that? I should have went pee during the cutscene, but I wanted to watch the cutscene. Hmm. Why would you want to watch anything Bentley though? <laughs> he said cock and it was funny. It took a sleepless week of data crunching. But I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. Life are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Mm. 
really that was the best name they can come up with. This is like really cementing the fact that Sly Cooper is not a good fucking person. Why? Because he goes to jail? Yeah, but like he actually committed a fucking crime, stealing shit. Yeah. That's and a point. goddamn reason, too. It's not like he's saving the world, he just fucking wants shit. He's the only one at the table. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Well, cause if not, I don't know what the hell's happening. I I'd like him a little more if he didn't have that fucking voice. <laughs> I love his voice. Oh, it's annoying. I want to hear it. He talks like he's, uh, Larry David. From Curb Your Enthusiasm. What the fuck is that thing? Is there been anywhere to hide here? Accidentally wakes up fucking Satan? Okay. <laughs> yeah, how do you accidentally wake up Satan? Jackson! I just accidentally did a blood ritual. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Very similar to the things I do within my day normally. <laughs> Hell are you two talking about in the chat? Honestly, I just saw poop and I was like, I'm not reading any of that. We're mature people here, we never talk about poop. No. We don't talk at all, actually. None of us know each other. We don't talk ever. Yeah, I actually don't know how I got here. Yeah, we're all just like really socially awkward and we're like... <laughs> You're like, Twitch stream? And I was like, okay. I'll watch, but I'm not gonna say anything. The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. I might even learn what it sounds like when she jerks off. I mean, I would want to know. She's a fucking spider. I mean... Why she had to do it by herself? Why didn't she invite me or something? I don't know. Just as, like, a suggestion. Because, you know, like, I'm available, you know, if she wanted to. Just, uh, if you have my card, just let me know. I'm supposed to shoot at her? Yeah. Oh yeah, it says shoot Contessa with darts. The claw gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have overstopped. Huh. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. 
their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah, well. They'll see it my way soon enough. <laughs> that was really convenient. She was just no. talking about that she's like a bad guy. She's not a bad guy, you're the bad guy. No, she she literally just said that she was working for a criminal organization. You're a thief. You steal things. She needs to stop fucking moving around so goddamn much. Stop! Fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If oh, only she is evil. To help me with a hypnosis. Okay, that kind of makes her sexier now. <laughs> that blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few seconds. He'll be the first to die. Feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. She's gonna prove his asshole. Gotta hope that's a cutscene. That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. He's gonna break out Sly, but not Murray. <laughs> He's gonna break out Sly's hole. Well, yeah, I mean, he's probably more into Twinks than he is, uh, Bears. Even though technically, like, Murray's octopus or octopus, fucking hip hop hippopotamus, <laughs> fucking octopus. <laughs> of course, that classic octopus. Yeah, the octopus with four limbs. computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Jesus. I think it's fast as fuck. Ah, I got caught by the guard, but it's okay because I'm in the middle of a hack job. hacking thing. Now the left analog stick should control my I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my by using both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. Jesus Christ. Bentley, the computer's right in front of you. There you go.
Two down, four more to go. I was like, I don't remember there being mini games in this game. Nope, there's definitely mini games. Uh, I, I know there's mini games in four. should speed up the train by at least 50%. Jesus, it still kills you, what the fuck? There's no indication that the fucking train is coming either. Is it the fourth or fifth one? Just two more turns. Oh god, there's a couple more. They're probably gonna be What the fuck? That fucking train. <laughs> fuck that train. Sh oh, fucking hell! The train's at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. You know our secret? You might as well tell me now. Yeah, what secret? I have like 20.
What secret you want to know? Like that I shove hot sauce up my asshole to keep me awake? Like what? Which one do you want to know about? Well, don't look at me. Freddy forgot about your birthday too. Along the prison wall. This is your surprise. Here you go. We forgot. Device. That's a surprise. There's no way for Sly to escape unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Tension, tension. Jesus Christ. Give you no indication those rockets are coming either, like it's all over the fucking place. Damage alert, she's taking damage. Come on, baby, hold together. Curses. Dang it. Jesus. It's like I'm constant bombardment. fun on your birthday, I guess. I, I, there's not much left of it, I don't think. There's like Fly, can you two hours me? left. How I miss that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? True. Truer words were never said, wizard. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. No, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, We'll be ready to make a play for the big guy.
locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. All right, I think after uh, we burst, <laughs> bust Murray out, I think I'm just going to call it. Everyone's kind of gone, and uh, I don't know, I guess no one's in the mood. I think I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, and then Freddy fell asleep. Where the fuck am I even supposed to go? They say something and they just don't even give you like a map indicator anywhere. I guess it's down there, cause, like, I didn't know where else I was supposed to fucking go. Great. Gee, can I? No. Okay. One more time. Yeah. Thanks. I like how they don't have to wear prisoner uniforms and they get to keep all their equipment and everything. In the back wall. It's almost like the devs just didn't want to, you know, bother with that. I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so, I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes, if I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. This looks like it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. 50 guys? Come on. Is this the fucking number you made up? The Pink Terror strikes again! That's ten down. The Murray stands tall. Let's fucking go. Okay, I lost half my fucking health right there. Jesus, this is like a fucking saw trap. Yeah, Freddy's definitely asleep because I mentioned saw and they didn't say anything. Stupendous victory! 
victories. 47 going to heaven. 47 going to heaven. 49 beating fine. I don't know about going to heaven, bro. They don't they don't look like they're gonna go to heaven. Eat that, you incarcerating suckers! Is that anti-social enough for ya? Oh what? You gonna throw me in solitary? Bring it on! Yeah, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, sorry, it was kind of short. This is, I guess, everyone's kind of like out of it. I mean, I don't blame them. Uh, we had kind of a long day uh, messing around with dolphin and stuff. Uh, so probably next stream is just gonna be all Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, I definitely have a few shine sprites I want to do that I saw. Um. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for tonight. So, uh, I might be back tomorrow, probably 8. If not, definitely between 8 and 9.30 I'll be back. Um, so yeah, see ya.